Psychic phenomena, otherwise known as psi, and quantum mechanics have certain similarities. Are these coincidences or not? And also a little bit about why does any of this work? So the first question, does mind interact with matter? Well, this has been studied extensively for many years now, well over 50 years. Uh, and the, the question initially came down to uh, the use of very sensitive systems, like probabilistic systems. Originally the tossing of dice, and then in more recent times, meaning last 40 years or so, uh, the use of electronic random number generators. So this version here is, and is, was used at the Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Lab for many years. Uh, today you can buy essentially the same thing in a little memory stick. All it does is produce random bits. So in a typical experiment at Princeton, they would do hundreds of thousands of trials involving many people who would be asked to mentally influence the random numbers coming out so that it would produce more ones and more zeros. And so ever, over many, many repeated trials, you can see that cumulatively that's what happened. And then they would be asked to produce uh, fewer than, than a fewer number of ones or more number of zeros, and they would get that. And then under a baseline condition, it would just meander around chance. So the statistics in these experiments were very clear that to a very small extent, people can use their mind, their intention to manipulate the probabilities of events. So in 1989, I was at Princeton with my um, colleague, Roger Nelson. We did an analysis of more than 800 experiments of this type. And we found unequivocal effects, positive effects in experimental conditions and chance results in control conditions. This means that when you look across the board at many different uh, laboratories and uh, investigators, you see these same effects again and again. So this pretty much establishes that mind can influence matter, at least at a probabilistic scale.